Sudanese special envoy said that the Sudanese army is in full control of the situation in Sudan. He made these comments after meeting with South Sudan's president. His talks with President Kiir were aimed at fostering a lasting ceasefire and to grant safe passage to humanitarian support as well as provide an escape corridor for fleeing civilians. The Sudanese special envoy also added that the only reason why the Sudanese army has not squashed the paramilitary's rebellion is because they have infiltrated hospitals and civilian quarters and they do not want to endanger them. A light aircraft in Ecuador crashed, killing the pilot and a passenger. The Ecuadorian General Directorate of Civilian Aviation said another passenger's passenger was injured in the crash and is currently in the hospital. The light aircraft in Cessna 182 crashed in the vicinity. Authorities are yet to confirm what caused the plane to come down. Swedish and British Marines conducted joint military drills in an island in the Stockholm archipelago. These joint military drills are the largest Sweden has undertaken in almost three decades. The month-long exercise called the Aurora 23 has brought together more than 26,000 troops across all branches of the military and 14 other countries are also taking part. Aurora 23 takes place as Sweden seeks to become a full-fledged member of the NATO military alliance. Sweden applied to join NATO in May 2022 following the Russian invasion of Ukraine. A Texas man accused of mowing down a group of pedestrians with his car near a homeless shelter in Texas has been charged with eight counts of manslaughter. The driver, identified as 34-year-old George Alvarez, ran a red light, lost control of his vehicle, hit 18 people as the SUV flipped on its side on the 7th of May. He was also charged with 10 counts of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Police reported that the driver attempted to flee the scene after impact but was held down by several bystanders. This incident occurred outside a shelter for the homeless used by migrants. Vietnam is clamping down on social media websites. The country is ready to make identity verification mandatory for all users. This new policy will apply to platforms both local and foreign. The state is claiming that these radical changes to social media policies in the country is being done to tackle online scams. The legislation being called the Telecommunications Law Amendment is all set to be ruled out by the end of the year. All unverified accounts on sites such as Facebook, YouTube, TikTok will also be dealt with. However, the legislation will need to be greenlit by the Vietnamese parliament before it comes into effect. Tens of thousands of Serbians rallied in Belgrade demanding better security and a ban on violent content on TV and the resignation of key ministers. Days after two separate mass shootings in Serbia, protesters and opposition supporters demanded a shutdown of TV stations and tabloid newspapers. They accused of promoting violent and vulgar content. Demonstrations, demonstrators also demanded an emergency par parliamentary session and a debate about the overall security situation. Serbia's police has launched a one-month amnesty period for surrendering illegal weapons with more than 1,500 weapons being surrendered on the first day itself. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.